All right, so people have been asking me this question, you know, why, why am I using ion sometimes? Why am I using atom sometimes? Um, and that goes back to that, watch the first video on, you know, what is the fundamental particle that is equal to Avogadro's number when we solve these problems? So 6.02 times 10 to what equals one mole? So in other words, you have to have moles to do that. So if you have grams, you know, you have to have moles in order to use Avogadro's number. Now Avogadro's number will get you to one of three units. It'll either be formula units, it'll be molecules, or it will be atoms. And again, that depends on the fundamental particle. If it is ionic, that's formula units. So if it contains a metal and a nonmetal, or a metal and a polyatomic ion, you are going to have formula units. If it's molecular, meaning covalent bonds, meaning nonmetals, it's going to be molecules. And if it is just an element, if it's just Al, or just Mg, the example we did in class today, uh, then it would be Avogadro's number of atoms would be equal to one mole. So I think the hardest one to pick out of there is definitely the number of ions. Uh, because with covalent bonds, it's always something like P2O3 or CO2 or uh, H2O. You're not going to have polyatomic ions because then it's not uh, ionic. It is covalent. So uh, picking out the total number of ions in a formula unit. So this is definitely a formula unit. So the last conversion would be one formula unit equal to how many ions? Well, in NaCl, it's simply treated as a positive side and a negative side. One Na, one Cl, so that is two ions total. So total ions, it would be one ion of Na or one ion of Cl or two ions total. This one would be one formula unit would equal three ions. Two coppers and one oxygen ion. The next one though has a polyatomic ion in it. And remember, positive side, negative side. It has one Fe and three hydroxides. So that is four ions total because of those three polyatomic ions hydroxide. And when there's parentheses, uh, it's a lot easier to pick out because it's just however many uh, of the polyatomic ions will be equal to that number here outside the parentheses. So that is definitely four ions. Now this one is definitely the trickiest of all of them. Um, and there are two ions in one formula unit of zinc sulfate. Zinc one, sulfate one. If there was more than one sulfate, you would have to have parentheses uh, and a number to the outside of those parentheses. Uh, so that would be two ions. So that's what to watch for when you're doing these are polyatomic ions. So an example, uh, how many total ions are in 269 grams of copper Roman numeral two chlorate? So 269 grams of CuClO3 parentheses two. Then um, we need a molar mass, sorry. Uh, copper, um, on our periodic table, 63.6. We move that down. So copper is 63.6. Uh, we have two chlorines, 35.5 times two, uh, and we have six um, oxygen, six times 16, so 60, 36, 96. Add those together, um, and you get a 10. So we have uh, another 10 and a 23. So 230.6 grams per mole. So our first step is I have grams. In order to go to ions, I have to go first to moles. So 230.6 grams in one mole of copper 2 chloride according to the molar mass. All right, so now I have moles. So now I need to know the fundamental particle. It is ionic. Uh, so one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units. And then the last conversion. All right, that's what we just did on the last um, slide, which is I have one copper and I have two chlorates, uh, the polyatomic ion. So this is three ions total in that one formula unit of uh, copper to chlorate. So there's the setup, and um, you can do the math to finish that one. Let me go to the next. So some more of these. Uh, 1.98 moles of MnCl4. All right, once again, I have moles. I'm looking for ions. I don't need the molar mass. I don't need the molar mass because normally I use the molar mass to go from grams to moles or moles to grams. I already have moles. So now I can go right to formula units. One mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units. Formula units because MnCl4 is ionic as a metal. 
All right, so now I got formula units, so now the last step is then one formula unit would equal, now, it would be five ions total, but the problem is asking only for ions of chlorine. So there are four chloride ions, or ions of chlorine. Um, the next one, how many grams are in 591, or 5.91 times 10 to the 23rd ions? Now, that's a, that's a poor way to word this, ions of. Um, it really should be um, that many total ions in a solution of, or um, to explain that you're talking about the whole thing. So uh, if we're starting with ions, then we have five ions in one formula unit. Five because I have three MGs and I have two PO4. So again, polyatomic ion. We're going all the way to grams. So now that I have formula units, 6.02, I've sent the 23rd formula units in one mole, and then one mole in the molar mass, uh, three magnesium, so um, three times 24.3. Uh, we have two P, so two times 31, and then we have eight oxygens, so eight times 16, uh, 72.9, um, 62, and 80, and 48 is 128. Um, 9, 10, 12, 1, 8, 5. So 262.9 grams per mole. So 263, we'll say, round it off, why not? So there's a setup for that one. So again, you can use your calculator to solve those, uh, but that hopefully gives you some idea as to how to deal with ions, because like I said, I think that's the trickiest one. Pay attention to polyatomic ions, um, and I think you'll be okay.